Hi, everybody. Well, we're going to make something in honor of Rome, which is the capital of Italy. I'm hoping I'm saying it right, folks. It's called Caratapi al Succo. It's a very delicious Italian meal. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to put carrots into this. Actually, we're going to make it with a couple of veggies. I'm adding some carrots in there, and we're going to get these soft and cook it with olive oil or vegetable oil, any kind of oil you want to use, you could use, folks. And when this is done, we're going to brown the chopped meat, and we're going to add it into the chopped meat, and we're going to put it into the pasta, and we're going to bake it for about five or six minutes until the cheese melts. We're going to use mozzarella cheese. I'm now cutting up with my dollar onion. It's really amazing how you can find these Italian uh, dishes just on a box of, on a box, box, back of a box, excuse me, folks. Now I'm going to cut up the onion. Here we go. Now what we have to do is this has to actually get sauce. In the interim, I'm going to start browning my ground beef. Here we go. And this is going to really be a delicious, wonderful Italian meal, folks. Now, you could use crushed tomatoes, folks, but also, if you don't have crushed tomatoes, you can just use a dry tomato sauce. Let's do the same thing. We're going to put this on the back burner because I want to start my ground beef because we have to start that too as well. Okay, we'll be back in a few minutes. Now adding in the onions and the carrots. Make sure that you use olive oil or vegetable oil. It doesn't matter which one you use. Now, we're going to mix this together. Okay, now, the next thing we have to do is add in the garlic powders. Now, Italy is, is, you know, some parts of Italy, the Italian food is very highly, very spicy. In other parts, it's very um, sweet. It depends on where you go. All right. A lot of garlic powder. That's what they really live off of. And some oregano. Okay, now we're going to add some sauce into this. God, it smells so delicious. I can smell from here. Oh. Okay. And mix this together. Now we want to put this back on the flame for just a little while. A lot of meat here. Just a little bit. I am using a sweet sauce, okay? Because my family had a habit when they made the Italian food, it was a little sweet on the sweet side. But sometimes they would also season it up. Now we're going to add a little bit more seasoning into it. Okay. Now we're going to put this on the stove just for a few minutes and then we'll go to the next step into the pasta. This is a fantastic, wonderful dish. Yeah, carrot, you could put celery in if you want, but it's not necessary. Okay. Now, because we don't want to waste any food. Mix everything together. Everything. Now, what we're going to do now is put a little bit of oregano on here, a little bit, a little bit of garlic powder. Put it over. Here we go. Now, the next thing is I want to put some tomato sauce on top of this. Oh, lots of this terrible, folks. Here we go. Put some palm cheese on here. A lot of palm cheese. Italian people like palm cheese. Bake this for about a uh, good 15 minutes. And here we have a delicious... Oh my goodness, I came from now. Just give me a second. Cava Ugo Zucca. It's a fantastic Italian meal. And I'm honoring Rome today. Look how beautiful that is. Folks, I'm going to add in some more carrots the next time I make this. My daughter definitely made a comment today. All right, so add a half a cup of onions, a half a cup of carrots. Okay, and it's great served with palm cheese. A little more palm cheese on this. And here we have it, a delicious Italian meal from Deborah Way's Home Country Kitchen on a Rome. Deborah Way's Home Country Kitchen, I'm great to be subscribed to my wonderful YouTube channel.